They were the third most popular lip syncing cover band out of Knoxville, Tennessee. The dynamic quartet of Christian, Adler, Terrence, and James got their start when they first performed their cover slash lip sync <laughs> of Queen's Don't Stop Me Now. Yeah, I was just there to look cool. It was a hit. It was a moderate success. But the good times didn't last for long as they broke up right after that performance. Okay, you wanna change the beat? You wanna go? You wanna start something? Since then, they've reconciled and now they're back from the dead to revisit the location of their big performance. Now, for the story of four friends and their appreciation for yet disgrace of music, the Cold Boys, behind the music. Man, we were really dumb idiots back then. We met in high school in like what, orchestra? Oh yeah. Uh, the way we met is, were we, were we at a house party? Yeah, we were at a house party and uh, it was crazy. Everyone else left, but, but we were the only two left uh, there. So yeah. we were the only ones to crack open a real cold one together. We had to say, hmm, that guy should be in, in our band. band. And then I saw our him. band. And then I saw him licking glue off the, off the floor. And then I was just like, man, this guy's perfect. It was really awesome. Our, our beginning days when we were playing to a handful of people and you know that was shortly after I uh, got my first uh, camera so I was recording everything that we we're doing every step we were making maybe in hopes that one day we would make it big the cold boys were off to a great start but now they had to find their sound after tragically experimenting with rap Smell like a foot and you look like a turtle. You are not very good, you're a squirtle. Nobody wants you, you're easy to find. You're a common kind of guy, but you're nine. Yes, I said you're elementary. You're very silly. I think we should make a stew. Sometimes I like to cook dinner, but I'm not very good at it, so I don't do it often. This doesn't rhyme. This is freestyle nine. They decided to just do a cover of Queen's Don't Stop Me Now. <laughs> For some reason, people loved it. But right after the show, they got into a huge argument. What was it over? To this day, they still won't tell. The Cold Boys, just like their namesake, were colder than ever towards each other. We were a terrible mess. We hated each other for a long period of time. Because there was a point where we, none of us talked, really, for quite a long time. And it, life was good. Trust me, life was good. Even though we were in the same band, we didn't even realize each other existed. Yeah, there was something that was missing. One day, they decided that enough was enough. They weren't going to let an argument divide them any longer. Now they're back to where it all went down. Knoxville, Tennessee, where they had their first, last, and only big show. Visiting Knoxville has been amazing. There's so much culture and food and cold ones well i think that the uh height of our career the cold boys a lot like this if you go off the edge you're going real far and you're not stopping Sorry, what am I doing? after wandering around knoxville for a while they decided to not return to the stage or at least to the same stage the Cold Boys died at the place of their first performance, so they needed a new place 
for the rebirth of the Cold Boys. This summer, they'll be going on a tour at wherever we'll have them. Catch them in a city near you. Terrence. Christian. Adler. James. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Cold, Cold Boys. Boys. Wait, you know what? What? We never cracked open a cold one.